Ah, oh, hello everybody. Standing outside my shooting shack here, and I uh, experienced a very interesting surprise uh, just the other day. So uh, let me show you what's uh, what's going on. Okay, so as we head in the shooting shack here, don't mind the mess, but you can see on the floor down here all these little uh, pieces of insulation. Well, I had a little critter in my shooting shack. And no, not this little critter. A little <laughs> chipmunk decided, oh, it's winter, it's cold, I'm going to move in. So I happen to have one weakness in this entire uh, not permanent structure I built here. This panel up top was not there. That is recently installed. I put it in place to keep the chipmunk outside the inside of the shooting shack because it could actually get inside and it was leaving me presents right behind here it was storing nuts and it was stealing tissues and a whole bunch of other things uh yeah it was gonna make this into a really big house and probably invite all its cousins and brothers and sisters over and that would have been a real disaster but since it's winter and since there's no other way for him to get in um I'm leaving him up there for now. It's that's, it's not like there's there's no odor or anything, so I'm not too worried about like the uh, you know the the fumes and stuff from from you know the mess they make. But he is living, or she could be living, it's somewhere somewhere right up in here because I was poking around in there, and a whole ton of insulation started falling out. It has definitely made a nest up there and it hopefully will stay up there. Of course, if uh, this little chipmunk decides that it's going to, uh, you know, really take over my entire shooting shack and starts, you know, destroying the inside, then we're going to have to do something. But uh, so far, as long as it remains peaceful on the, uh, the border with the chipmunk lands, um, <laughs> I will not be forced to rip this entire roof off and put a metal one on that it can't live under. <laughs> so uh, I hope you uh, enjoy my little range surprise that I wasn't expecting either. And uh, I guess the moral of this story is make sure you fill all the holes and you know make sure you cover all your exits because if you leave a spot for animals to make their home, they will make their home. And sometimes they won't be chipmunk sized. They'll be raccoon or squirrel or maybe something even bigger than that. So, well, thank you for watching and uh, happy shooting. Catch you next video.